Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you a modification I made to my 2018 A-Liner Expedition. It extends the counter space on the cooking side of my, which is the driver's side, over the dinette. Because I travel alone, I do not need to seat four or six people at the dinette. I don't like to use the, the regular dinette table because when you're using it, it tends to rock around quite a bit and uh, it's just uh, painful <laughs> to say the least. So uh, what I did was I figured out a way to make a bridge that would support a piece of wood that would extend from the cabinet the countertop above the refrigerator to the front wall without drilling or making any holes in the A-liner itself. Everything is just resting in place. So uh, let me take the table down and I will show you that. Normally the table is stored when I travel in its regular position, let me readjust the camera. The first piece is a piece of plywood. It's uh, fairly heavy, it's 5 eighths. It's what I had. I could probably use a uh, half inch on this. But I have a small piece of wood that I've glued and nailed on with brads. And it goes with this ridge up against the front wall of the camper and the reason I put this board down is to distribute the force that I'm going to eventually apply on it and I didn't want that force to be just on that small piece of wood that's underneath there because it's only stapled into the front wall so this distributes the weight that I'm going to put on so I'm not pushing on that so that goes right here in this corner up as close to the center as po or the center of the camper as possible the second piece is a piece of Luan. It is, that is quarter inch plywood and it's cut to the right height to fit in for the purposes that I need. You have to figure this out. And it also has a piece of wood that is nailed with brads and glued onto it set at approximately maybe an inch or an inch or two from the top here. That doesn't really matter. Its position is this carries the downward weight of the counter extension I'm going to put on it. So it's rigid enough for that as long as you don't put 500 pounds on it. You can't sit on this afterwards. It's for light things. But that sits right up here and it goes up against that other piece of wood I glued on there. And it stands up in this, this piece of wood that's glued onto this piece is a spacer to hold it against away from the wall so that there is a gap here for my counter extension to rest on. So that sits right there. To hold this in place, so now that piece of lawn is now resting on this piece of plywood to distribute its weight to here. The last piece is slightly longer than the distance from here to here, probably about three inches. And this gets, this curtain gets tucked down in behind that. It's resting on the, it's not behind the spacer that's there. Then my top piece is just a piece of half inch plywood. It uh, has a good side to it and uh, it looks like it was good on both sides. This is a, a scrap piece my nephew had. And you'll notice again it has uh, runners put on and glued and nailed with brads. And one on this end. And you'll notice if I hold these up that this gap is greater than this gap. This gap right here takes this up against the front wall of the camper with just a little bit of space to spare. Put that back 
under there. And then this keeps this up against the counter. So I take this, rest that on there. This slides into that spot right there. This is actually kind of adjustable. I can slide this out pretty far so that it has some continued support. Now this can be pulled out and sat in front of and use a computer if I brought my chair in. Uh, you know, you could use a computer or a table, push it to the back for storage, for extra storage, push things out of the way. And it also creates a gap in here. Now, of course, if you're going to use that table, you need to store this extra cushion anyway, so the extra cushion can go in there. Now you can store some other things in here for setup, uh, and this makes a nice working table without drilling or mounting a screw into anything associated with the A-liner itself. So uh, that's basically it. Uh, all the uh, dimensions and things you'll have to figure out for your own camper because they're not all the same. And uh, I hope this helps you uh, with ideas on how to improve your storage space for when you're set up. Uh, naturally, I don't leave this anything set up when I'm driving down the road. I will remove this and its storage position is, I'll show you that. I take this down, take this, take this one out, and I will take this one with this lip and put it face down so that it is only adding that quarter of an inch gap to right here. Slide that to the back. And then I go ahead and put the bottom cushion down. And then I lay this with the, with the uh, normal top side facing downward. And it fits in there with a couple inches of gap because this wall is tilted. And then, uh, and then I put, I'm sitting on, let me readjust this. I am sitting on the dinette seat boards that make it for the bed. And the way I, the way I ride when I drive is, that's my bowl. I take the tape, whoops. I take the table, and it can, then these boards slide forward. This is a normal bed layout for this camper. Some of you have to use a tabletop to make this happen. And then I just use, I store things under there naturally. Then I just use these. And this position is flat. It gives more space for storing things if you need it while you're driving down the road. I hope you like this and the ideas uh, that you may have that makes you spark some different idea. Uh, you could basically use this plywood bridge across the uh, uh, walking area between the dinette and your bed, couch, whatever you have in the back, the front and the back of the van, and have a, uh, a countertop. The thing I didn't like about that was it was too high for the chair that I had at the time. But just another idea. So uh, if you enjoy this, hit the thumbs up button for a like. And uh, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, if you want notifications whenever I post a video, that's not very often right now, uh, there is a bell. You can click the bell and sign up to get notifications. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Hello, everybody. I am uh, today going to show you an hello, everybody. Today I am going to show you an adaptation or modification I made to my 2018 Expedition A liner. 
Hello everybody. Today I'm going to uh, show you a modification I made to my 2018 uh, expedition. 